Uh, but in the next round, I think that's all you can expect when you come away from home. You know, a bit of a nightmare getting here, as you guys know. Um, we probably didn't get here till what, 5 to 2, 2 o'clock. Um, they had a good side, they're doing well in their division. You know, got some real good players, good staff. Um, it's a tough game, you know. Um, but we stuck at it, you know, we weren't, we weren't great. Um, but we've been saying that now for 10 games, we're not beating or something like that. So we just got to keep going. Are you impressed with your defence how they saw the game out? How well the team wins? I think we're just impressed with the team, really. It wasn't just the defence, everyone st stuck at it. Make better decisions, I think, when we're 2-1. When they pushed on, I think we make better decisions. We go and win the game 3-1. Uh, but we've just got to hang in there, stick at it. They've got a lot of, got a lot of big, big players, tall players, put balls in our box. And, you know, apart from the scramble at the very end, uh, you know, which I thought we should have had a foul way before the incident. Uh, we had two men down in the box, head injuries, referees let the game go on. I mean, decision-wise throughout the game, for both, I mean, we've won the game. Decision-wise decision for both teams throughout the game, bizarre, absolutely bizarre. There's yellow cards getting given, there's decisions nobody knows what for. Then there's decisions not being given, as I say, uh, but... It seems to be a common thing at the minute, you know, and uh, trying our best, you know, to to work with people, but you know, we, you, you've seen the decisions there today yourselves. And, you know, and I'm not saying just for my side, but for both teams. Both fullbacks, Solomon Davis and Sean Smith, have to be in the second half. What's their situation? Sean Smith was tactical. Um, you know, we went, we went to a back five, and um, they pushed more, more and more men on. So, you know, we had to need to get some height in the team. So, James Barrigan. Um, can go tighter, he's more of a midfield player, so we can go tighter, higher. Their 14 was decent when he came on, he was quick. Um, Josh Solomon Davis just felt felt something in his hamstring, um, and with Joe Fergus now at the moment, also, we know he wants to take no risks. Freddie Price scored his first goal for Marine, how has he been settling into the side? Okay, it's only his, his second game. Um, should have scored early doors when he's cleaned through. Anticipation done well. But it's all about confidence. Well, I think people got to remember, you know, you look at our front three today, um, Freddie Price, um, Sol Solomon, um, Hayden Campbell. I think they're probably all 20, 21 years of age, you know, young lads. Um, give them opportunities to score. Um, but generally, you know, fairly happy with them. We'll obviously get through to the next game. Games with Trinity is who will play on Tuesday. How do you feel about that? Don't know. Yes, I haven't even thought about it. I know they're a good side. Um, the league position, if you look at it, if they win the games in hand, they move up considerably. Um, I believe the front two are very good. Um, that's without being, you know, doing the service to anyone else. But when I spoke to somebody, they said the front two are very good. Obviously, Clayton Donaldson has been around forever. Well, I say forever for a long time. Played, you know, top striker for a long time. Um, so it's going to be, you know, difficult to mark. We've got a young lad up there as well. So, you know, they're, they're a good side, as I say. But we'll, we'll enjoy today um, and we'll look at Tuesday tomorrow.